let's start talking about sheet sets in Civil 3D. Sheet sets and the sheet set manager are the tools that are created in Civil 3D that allow you to batch print layouts from one drawing or multiple drawings all at one time to create a plan assembly. Conversely, you could go to each individual layout, publish it as a PDF, bind them all together if you had a plan set and do it that way, or you can use sheet set and do one click and do them all. The sheet set manager is available on the home tab under the palettes, and it looks like this roll of paper. Or you can open it by typing the sheet set command. <clears throat> Before we get going too quickly on the sheet set, let's go through what we have here. We got three lay three drawings, each with layouts in them, with the sleepy one having two layouts in it. I'm going to save each one of these drawings real fast. I made some edits before the video. <clears throat> and then I'll reopen my sheet set manager. Now the sheet set manager, when you open it, you will see these three tabs. You have your sheet list, your views, sheet views, and model views. We'll go through these two in a later video. There are a lot of advanced tools in the sheet set manager that can help with automation of processes that uh, if we put try to put all of it in one video it end up being too long so we're going to keep this in several pieces to help keep these in bite-sized chunks so let's just get started with the sheet set manager open i'm going to click up here and i'm going to say new sheet set we'll open the wizard and in it you have the option to use an example sheet set if you have one already made or from existing drawings for this video we're going to use existing drawings hit next give it a name description you so wish, and then folder location where to save the sheet set data file. Okay, the sheet set properties. And here is some of that metadata that I mentioned a moment ago. We're not gonna go over it in this video, but we will in a future one. And this stuff can come in really handy. I'm gonna hit next and come over here. It wants to you to select the folder that contains your drawings. And this brings up a good point that if you have a series of drawings that have layouts that you're wanting to be in your plan assembly. It is recommended that all of those drawings, those DWG files, exist in a single folder. And this is the reason why. is because if I hit Browse, it's wanting to go to a folder. If I hit here and hit OK, I will see every DWG in this folder and its associated layouts. And I can check them here all at once. So I don't want the border drawing layout, but I want these four. So I'll hit next. Here's just your confirmation, and I will hit finish. And you will see that it brought in those layout files. I got lucky, and these all came in in order. But if I wanted to rearrange them, I can select it and then click and hold, and I'm able to drag these around in order. The order in which they are listed in this list is the order in which they will print or publish when we go to make our plan set. So keep that in mind. One of the cool built-in tools is if I right-click on any one of these layouts, let's say, let's just mix these up here deliberately and say, this is the order I want my sheets to be in. So I want them to be sheet numbered from one through four in this order. So I can right-click on this and I can go down to rename and renumber. In here, there are two fields of particular interest, the sheet number and the sheet title. These are particular interests because these are field types. So we will pay attention to the number and the title. So let's renumber this as one. And we're going to change the titles to Sleepy One. Down here at the bottom, we have some rename options where it will change the layout to match what we put in here to help with um, continuity between everything. So if I have these checks, it can rename the uh, layout tab to match the title, and I can prefix it with the number if I want to or not. I can step through each one of these. So if I hit Next, you'll see that it went to the next in the list. Since I have them in the order I want, I know that this should be sheet two, 
Let's call this grumpy emo. Uh, emo. We're going to hit next again. Change this to three. We'll call this sleepy do. And we'll go to this one and change it to number four. And happy emo. And I will hit OK. Pay attention to what happens down here when I hit OK. It has renamed and renumbered these tabs to match what's in here. Also, a cool tool is, let me come up here and it's close, grumpy, and happy, is that I can navigate to any one of these drawings and layouts by double by uh, asking it to do so. So let's go to the grumpy. If I right click on it and say open, it will open the DWG and go directly to that layout. So there's Grumpy. And notice that it changed. It did not change this down here. It's kind of a weird um, fluke of the, uh, the software. You know, now if I close Grumpy and I navigate to open Grumpy, let's see if it changes it that way. And it didn't change it there either. It Sometimes it will do it and sometimes it won't. It seems to just do it on the fly. The most time you want, if you want to rename it, these, you can force it to do it by reopening this and just hitting OK, and you'll notice that it changed it right then and there. OK. So we can navigate to any layout. Let's do happy. I'll open happy up. Just by double clicking these. I just double clicked it and opened it rather than right click and open. So you have either option to do it. Now with these four in here, let's make a batch print. So I'll come over here to this publish icon and let's publish as a PDF. And uh, let's put it on the desktop here. And I'm just going to hit select and let it do its thing. And it printed with no warnings or errors. So I should be able to open it right here. <clears throat> And it printed, and it only did the one sheet. And why did it do only one sheet? Because when I hit the publish, I had that sheet selected. Deliberately did that because you will you will end up doing this probably every time. Uh, you want to have the entire sheet set selected when you hit the publish icon. So let me come over here and close this real fast. And redo that so that you can see what it does when it does the entire set. Let's just overwrite that file and reopen it. And I can see that it created the layout of all of them. Okay. Notice that when it did it, it automatically creates tags inside of them of the name of each one of them. And um, it should it may have created bookmarks as well and it did it create a bookmarks as well which is really nice so at its root that's sheet set manager just creating them numbering them and being able to print them all at once the next couple of videos will start getting into uh, some of the automation that you can use and then pulling in some of these sheet views and model views if you watched this long and you enjoyed this content, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe and hit notifications if you want to get a notification when I publish more content.